It's her. Ow, ow. Oh, gosh, she's got me good. When you start handling big snakes, then the little snakes become like target practice. Good morning everybody, welcome to the vlog and we are gonna jump into it today with some baby snakes, that's right. Look at all oh, this mama right here. Of course, this is a rough scale sandboa and Mary actually told me that she had babies. Now Mary's actually been breeding these guys this year and she's done a really good job with sandboas, Kenyan sandboas, rough scale sandboas, all that stuff. And this is the first babies of the year. I don't see any of them, but I'm sure that they're in here somewhere. Let's go ahead and just take a look. Oh, I can see a little baby. Oh my gosh, look at how cute it is. And look at the mom. I mean, it's like a little tiny version of the mom. Oh my gosh, how cute is it? So let's go on a search, see how many babies there are. This is one little baby, and look at that chubby little monkey right there. And these guys usually are pretty touchy after they have their baby. So I'm gonna move mama away as far as I can so I don't get bit. Let's see, I see a little baby over here. Oh, oh. Look at this little cute guy. Oh my God, they are so adorable. Aren't they, Mary? Oh, they're they so incredible? cute. Oh my gosh. They're nice and fat too. I know, and it's so cool, because again, Mary's been breeding these for the last several months. It's cool to finally oh, see babies, yeah. right? I mean, it's awesome. Okay, we got two so far. Let's see if we can find any more. Let's see, there's gotta be more in here. Oh, there's a third one right here. There's number three. Where are we going here? Up, oh, there's another one over here. Number four, little babies. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how chunky they are. Okay, mama, it's all right. Don't bite me, please. Up, oh, there's another one here. Number five. Oh, there's more over here. Gosh, that's a lot for that girl. That's number six. Oh, and in the back, number seven. Ow, this little baby bit me. Oh my God, number seven. Let's see, I think that might be it. Possible, we're just gonna run through, just make sure there's no more. Go ahead, mama, you're all right. All right, it looks like seven babies is it. Oh my gosh. And take a look at guys, all of those babies right there came out of this little girl here. I mean, that's pretty insane, oh, yeah. isn't it? Seven baby sand boys. Oh my gosh, are they adorable. And it's really weird. Look at like, some have almost like a yellowish green, some are more tan. I mean, the pattern, look at the patterning on some of these guys. Oh my God, what a great way to start the day. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day too. Let's just push our problems aside. Have a great day for the rest of this vlog. Good job, Mary. Let's go ahead and see what this girl has going on. And of course, it's another Mexican black king snake. It's been weird. We've been collecting a lot of second clutches for Mexican black king snakes, but I am not complaining about that because they are absolutely gorgeous. Do you do a good job for, oh, look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, mom, it's okay. It's her, ow, ow. Oh gosh, she's got me good. Oh my gosh, mama, what are you doing? Eric, help me out here. What's going on? I'll go get someone. Oh my Should God. I call the police? Oh God, she's, oh, she's got me good. Oh, I tell you what, this tells you that a lot of times, right after they lay their clutches of eggs, they are ready to eat. And uh, she's ready to eat my finger. Oh my gosh, oh. Yeah, she's really, here, you want me to kind of help you get it off there? Come here, little girl. No, uh, what are you doing? No, what's, just, your, what's your plan of attack here? What I'm going to do is I'm going to shake her around a little bit. No, 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 I'm no, just no, kidding. Don't, I'm don't just kidding. I'm just kidding. Sometimes when you kind of just touch their little mouths here, they realize, Ow! I'm sorry. Well, I'm no, sorry. That's not, uh, that's not helping. No, no, no. Just, just real gentle. Ow! Real, uh, Ow! She's not coming off there. Oh, oh my. Eric, <laughs> Eric, is, uh, Eric is the worst. Thanks a lot. Oh, she'll come off eventually, right? I don't know. Don't don't make me go get Lori, man. <laughs> no Lori. I tell you don't, what. Don't get Lori. No, don't get Lori. Don't she get likes Lori. To make fun. She makes fun of you. She laughs at you. I'm gonna go get. Maybe her. Maybe, no, 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 no. maybe if you uh, you take the, the back end. Maybe, here, here maybe, we go. Hang on. Just do it gently. Do it gently. Here we do go. Gently. Nice and gentle. Oh, okay. okay I'm sorry, okay. man. Ah, 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 I don't no, want to hurt it, you. Keep, ah, ah, oh shoot! Oh my gosh! She keeps. Ow! Okay, okay, okay. This is a bad idea, bad idea, bad idea! No, no, no! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus! Oh! I don't know what to do, I'm getting Eric, nervous. Eric, take the camera. Take the camera. Okay. Come on, mama. Let go. Let go. Ow! Oh, 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 oh. Dude, she's really out there. Ow! Oh my gosh! Oh. I'm laughing okay. with you, not at you. Okay. okay, I gotta take a break for a second. Okay. Okay, she's gonna come off. Come on, mama. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, come on. You're almost off. Come on, girl. 
Ow, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm afraid to let go of her because, here, Eric, you take her. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab her, I'll grab her. Listen, hey, I don't want any sass out of you. Let's grab her here. She's, oh, she's fine. She's just. Hang on, you can't, what are you doing? Here, take the, the tail oh, in, tail in first. Go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, see, I got a lot of experience here. Okay, there, hang there on, I'm gonna goes. set her down. There she goes. Okay, mama. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Look at her, she's crazy. She's still going. Okay, get in there. Oh my gosh, guys. That was the hardest Kluber clutch I've ever pulled. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, well, I hope it was worth it. I hope she laid a good clutch of eggs. Oh yeah, there you go. That is actually a really nice clutch of eggs right there. That's two, four, five. Beautiful pearly whites. Oh, I'm leaking a little bit. Okay, let's get these eggs set up and I'll get, uh, I'll get washed up a little bit. You know what's going on? No, what's up, dude? No, I'm not in the mood for this. What's wrong? There's a lot wrong. Just leave me alone. Is there anything I can do to help? Absolutely not. You know how can I help Noah? Poor guy's in a bad mood. I know he hates shopping for razors and like aftershave. I'll go to Dollar Shave Club, and that way he doesn't have to order his razors or anything. That was fast. What's up, man? How you feeling? All right. You should check your locker. Check it out. Mm. What's this? Dollar Shave Club? I've heard good things about these guys. Oh, one wipe Charlie's. Oh, I could probably. Oh, I could probably use one of these right now. No, what's up, H? Hey, get my package, man. Yeah, man, I got it. your hands no but that's all right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're like me and you're sick of the nonsense at the store now's the time to try out dollar shave club for a limited time dsc is basically giving away their shower and shave starter setup member for only five dollars this startup set features their executive razor in a three trial size version of their most popular products that help you stay fresh and clean in your first box you'll receive their shave butter body wash and one white charlie's butt wipes you'll also receive their executive razor which includes their premium weighty handle and full cassette of cartridges after that first box replacement cartridges are sent for only a few bucks a month this offer is exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash brian b that's dollarshaveclub.com slash brian b and just so you guys know of course this was a paid sponsorship by dollar shave club i did one once before and we've got a couple more that are going to be coming up by the end of the year we really enjoy working with dollar shave club i've always loved their company they've got a great model incredible customer service so when they came to us and said hey we'd like you to do some stuff i said of course you know hey listen i have a lot of expenses in life not only running bhb but the reptarian Reptile Prime, all kinds of other stuff. So honestly, yes, we make money off this stuff. So it keeps the vlog going and we have a lot of fun with it. It's cool to write a skit, film a skit, edit a skit like that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you aren't upset that we took a few minutes of this vlog up doing a skit that was a paid advertising. Again, it really does help things keep going the way it is. But as for now, back to 
our normally scheduled vlog. And one more Kaluber clutch. Let's hope I don't get bit this time. I tell you what, that really did hurt. I get bit by snakes all the time. It's not really a big deal. You know, it leaves a couple little marks and stuff like that. No big deal. While it's happening, yeah, you're like, oh my God, that hurts. But the truth is, it's not nearly as bad as most people think. This happens to be an apricot puebling clutch. This is a second clutch. She has two, four, five good eggs in it. That is absolutely fantastic for a second clutch. But uh, it was kind of funny that I got bit. And that snake is crazy. We're definitely gonna get her some food, get her back settled in and uh, she'll be good to go. But this clutch looks good. Let's get it in an incubator box. And I might as well give Noah a little time with Daisy. We gotta clean Daisy and Lucy today, so might as well just keep her out. She ate a nice big meal the other day, so uh, how's it going? Good, you know, I think the thing is, is when you start handling big snakes, then the little snakes become like target practice, you know? <laughs> uh, get used to the big ones and yeah. it's like, easy. Exactly, so you just, like I said earlier, practice makes perfect, so let's get in some practice. So Noah's been doing a really good job, I mean, honestly, other than sweating a little bit. Uh, well, it's just hot down here. It is hot down here, and this is literally the hottest spot in the entire basement is right in this area, but Daisy is doing absolutely amazing. Noah, you're doing a great job. Uh, ready to get her back in her cage? Uh, yeah, I mean, that time went by quick. We have one ball python clutch to pull today with Kelsey. What do we have? We have a head albino female bred to an albino. Okay, cool. Of course, the recessive mutation, meaning that on average, half the babies are going to be albino. The other half will be heterozygous for albino. Let's see what she has. Oh, she's a nice big girl. She's got one slug out over there, that's for sure. Let's see what else she has here. Come on, little girl. Oh, that's actually a much nicer clutch than it looked like. Well, she was kind of, that's amazing. And look, we got one, two, three boob eggs. Oh my God. But they look really good. Two, four, six, seven good eggs, one slug. Not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and get these in an incubator box. Good job. And this one here has an uncalcified area right here. And that just kind of happens. You know, it's probably at some point the female just didn't have quite enough calcium to actually calcify the entire egg. That's the same thing that happens with these guys here, which we refer to, of course, as boob eggs. Nevertheless, it's a really good clutch. Again, Kelsey, you're doing an amazing job. Thank you. The only other clutch I'm going to be pulling today is actually a het strawberry scaleless corn snake. And again, this is another second clutch, so I have no idea what to expect here. Let's see what she has going on. Oh, it's kind of a mixture here. There's some good eggs, there's some bad eggs, there's some goofy looking eggs. We'll see, we'll see what's going on. Good job, mama. And you can tell she looks like she's in pretty good shape even after laying two clutches this year. So basically what happens after this is we just condition them up for hibernation. They'll go into hibernation right around the middle of November or so. So from now till probably the end of October, these guys are just gonna get fed up and just hopefully get all that body weight back ready for hibernation. Regardless, let's go ahead and see what we have here. It looks like we've got one, two, three, four, and kind of a weird looking egg but this looks good five good eggs and two four six slugs about 50 50 that's about what you expect in some of these clutches like this but that's it for colubrid eggs for the day and with that said guys i'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here and thank you guys for tuning in as always your guys' support means the world to me and truly i love you guys so much you have no idea how much your support means to me and i hope that you have an absolutely amazing day evening whenever you happen to be watching do me a couple favors before we get out of here please can you smash that like button get those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Make a comment down below. Let me know what's on your mind. Did you like this video? What did you like about this video? What would you like to see in a future vlog? All that kind of stuff because I love reading about you guys. Make sure to always be kind to someone today and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>